There's one extra application of indium, which was really quite important in my own research. In fact, it got us onto the front cover of the journal New Scientist. Is that you? You can see this is me with hair slightly less grey than now. No periodic table tie. What was I thinking of? We were using a material called indium antimonide. That's an alloy of indium in group three and antimony in group five, which makes a so-called semiconductor. We were using this to make a tunable infrared laser, or rather we were using technology developed by a company. We shone a fixed wavelength infrared laser onto this crystal, which was kept at very low temperature, four degrees absolute, in a high magnetic field. And as you tune the magnetic field, you could get tunable infrared radiation. Had a wonderful name, spin flip laser, or in fact, spin flip Raman laser. It never worked enormously well, but what was important was that it got me and my PhD supervisor and collaborator, Jim Turner, really interested in infrared lasers. And it got you on the cover of New Scientist. And it got us on the cover. <laughs> and this has had a big effect in the work of our research group. And now my colleague, Mike George, here in Nottingham, has got wonderful infrared lasers and doing terrific experiments. And it all had its origin long ago with this magazine article. And in fact, I've got the cell we used to use here. The cell's made out of copper and it's cooled with liquid nitrogen that goes through one of these pipes and out of the other. There's a little chamber inside with windows that are transparent to infrared light. 